Hello, this is Kathleen McKee of Olene.com, Machine Embroidery Art. Just about all of the tools that you will be using when you manually or hand digitize a design are going to be found under the Home tab under this little heart and star icon and it says shapes. We see the little arrow so we know there is a drop down menu and there they are. Just about all the tools that you mostly use when you're hand digitizing a design. Now you notice when you hover your mouse key over uh, these different tools that they will tell you what they are and describe them and tell you what the shortcuts are. On the closed straight line it tells us the shortcut key on your keyboard is the letter Z as in zebra. When you hover it over the closed curve the shortcut key is X. And over the pencil uh, key it does not have a shortcut because it's used a little bit different and I'll tell you about that in a minute. First we're going to try the uh, closed straight line and when we click on that notice how it switches from the home tab and we are now under the shapes outline uh, tab and it also has a, uh, the, the option to toggle between these other tools that we frequently use. So but when using the uh, straight close tool we use this by left clicking individual points. Now notice as we add these different points, usually when we're tracing around something, uh, you will see that little dotted line. What that's telling you is just that is where it's going to connect when you double click it because it's a closed path. The curved close tool works pretty much the same way when you click around and you add your points, you're tracing around something or whatever. Wherever you finish up and double click, that is where it's going to join up. Now the pencil tool is used a little different. To use this tool, we put our finger down on the left mouse key, we keep it down and we click and we drag, but you notice we don't have that little dotted line that tells us where it's going to meet up. No big deal, we already know it's going to uh, meet up wherever we start it. To end this segment, we just lift our finger up from the left mouse key, lift it up, and boom, it automatically connects it. I don't want you to confuse these tools with the rectangle cir circle arc tools or the shape tools. Uh, these are used a little bit different. These are formed shapes. You don't individually enter points. When we select the rectangle tool, once again, it automatically uh, goes to the shapes outline tab. And notice that there aren't the same options here. What, he, what here uh, we have is a edge radius tool and if you want to have some rounded corners, you want it like 5% or 10% uh, whatever, you have to enter it before you use the tool. I'll show you this in just a minute. So we've got the rectangle tool and by clicking uh, or holding down the left mouse key we just click and drag. Now if we want that to be a um, a rounded edge before we use the tool because you can't, I've tried, you can't go back and change it once it's done you have to redo it and we'll have just a little bit of a curve on it and then we'll click and drag and you see you now have the rounded edge. Um, same for the circle tool uh, you hold down the left mouse key and you click and drag now if you want a perfectly square square and a perfectly round circle uh, you use these you choose the uh, rectangle shape or the circle shape we'll start with the rectangle and uh, instead of just clicking and dragging you have to first hold down the shift key on your keyboard then you hold down the left mouse key and click and drag and before you uh, end this shape you lift up on the left mouse key first then the shift key if you lift up the shift key first it's not going to uh, it might be out of whack if you didn't if you weren't perfectly straight we're going to do the same for the circle we're going to hold down the shift key, now hold down the left mouse key, click and drag, let go of the left mouse key first, then the shift key. 
the other shape keys work about the same if you want a perfectly uh, heart shaped heart like they have it in the software you hold your finger down let go of the left or you can not hold down the shift key and make a real narrow heart or whatever. So that in a nutshell is what a closed path is and how you get to it.